every hour of every day in all weather imaginable. Young men and women battle the elements and the odds to defend the world's largest island and longest coastline. They provide security, surveillance and protection, defending Australia's borders and facing two of the biggest and most dangerous oceans on Earth. Now screening here in the UK on BBC One, welcome to an exclusive look behind the scenes of the acclaimed drama Sea Patrol. About the Australian Navy and it's an incredibly exciting show full of adventure and drama and wonderful challenges and it's about the heroes that protect Australia's border. It's about the lives and loves of, of those sailors as they go out and put their lives on the line every day. It's about teamwork. It's about consultation. It's about not taking over my ship. Teamwork, but it's your ship. Oh, damn right, it's my ship. My responsibility. Very good, sir. There's some really fabulous storylines and there's also a mystery involved um, with an island and some love stories thrown in. But it's, um, it's a great adventure series, I think, and it's packed with action and something that in Australia I don't think we've, we've tackled on such a large scale before. <sighs> All right, that's it. Uh, galley's closed. Come off to save the world, mate. Okay, stand by ship, please. 944, take one, B mark. Right. From the patrol boat and uniforms to the weaponry and language used. Engage! Every detail has been thoroughly researched to give the series authenticity. It's the combination of character and action and location that really makes this very unique. From day one of writing, we've had Navy advisors that have helped us get things right because it's, it is a whole new world, a whole new language, and we wanted to show that. So, uh, yeah, they've been very, very involved and very, very helpful. Yes, we, we have an on-set technical advisor and then they look at the, at the finished episodes. So they've given us a lot of access to their records and a lot of input so that all of the stories are not only based on real events, but uh, all the procedures are appropriate for whatever the circumstance. There's very strict rules in the way Navy operates about how they do things, and that carries right through saluting the right badges, everything is correct. Faced with the drama of the high seas, the characters are pushed to their limits as they serve and protect their country's borders. Is he alive? And the series features an ensemble cast of some of Australia's finest actors. Lieutenant Commander Flynn got lucky, sir. <coughs> Drifting man, eight hours in the water. That's not lucky. This story centres around, in the first series, uh, the end of... Uh, the Fremantle class of boat and it's about the lives of these 24, 25 people on board and we focus on 10 of these people and I play uh, Lieutenant Kate McGregor and she's been put on these patrol boats uh, which is something that she doesn't really want to be doing. She wants to be driving big ships which for her is, is okay, where she up. sees her career going. Unfortunately for her she's, she's put on, on board the HMAS Hammersley with uh, somebody that she's had a brief liaison with a few years back being Lieutenant Commander Mike Flynn played by Anne Stenlake. And of course, that in such a small environment uh, creates a lot of uh, tension, which is terrific fun to play. As for anything else that may have happened between us, I'm sure two professionals can work together. Sir? Yes, I'm sure. Mike Flynn is a dedicated sailor, um, passionate about his job and also dedicated to his crew or his team members. But it's dangerous work, so he makes sure that everyone's safe. What do you do when a federal agent tells you not to worry, Buffer? <laughs> worry like hell, sir. Buffer. Here's the buffer between the captain of the patrol boat and the junior sailors. Sorry, sir. Don't call me, sir. I work for a living. Sorry, Buffer. He's also in charge of uh, weapons the boardings where you board a vessel. He's involved in a lot of the action, and uh, which is great, fun stuff for me. I play Nikki Katano, she's the navigator. She is having a, a, a struggle in her character throughout um, the first and second series, is that she's um, essentially falling in love with E.T. And it's this really beautiful tug of war between one aspect of her character that wants to do really, really well and um, impress her, 
her boss and all of her superiors and go far in her career. But on the flip side, she's falling in love for the first time and you, of course, can't have fraternization on board. So it's this wonderful chemistry of, I can't go there, but I really want to. Filmed on location at a Royal Australian Navy base and using fully operational patrol boats, the first series has captured audiences' imagination with its sense of adventure and realistic action. But could working in such a beautiful location possibly have a downside? Do you have any sharks in these waters? Nah. So what a crocodile scam away. Snakes and sharks and, and all of those things, which we are faced with, even coconuts falling out of trees. <laughs> I still hate sharks, and I'm very scared of sharks. And this shark's out there. Sea snakes, we've seen quite a few sea snakes, which has made it a little bit nerve-wracking when we had to get into the ocean. Who's up for a recce? It'll mean one of you in the drink. For the cast and crew of Sea Patrol, filming on board a Navy patrol boat has brought its own unique challenges. It is a very difficult shoot. No one makes any apologies for that. We wanted to make it real and we're all committed to bringing the stories to life in a truthful way. Everybody is so dedicated to this show and I think that really comes across on screen. We've got wonderful characters doing exciting and important work. It's full of action and I think the Navy now that I've seen it are very relieved and, and very proud of what they do and proud of the record that we've made of it. The acclaimed drama series Sea Patrol now screening on the Hallmark Channel. It's the best job in the world, and the worst. Bring it on. The widest horizons with the most cramped quarters. We're in each other's pockets. We get to know each other pretty well. Great adventure, but great danger. <laughs> and you'll never meet a closer crew, even when they'd rather not be. My ex-girlfriend is pregnant. Join Ian Stenlake, Lisa McCune, and all the crew. The blockbuster Aussie action series. Get us there as quick as we can. Sea Patrol, Sundays, 6.30.